You want to know how I really feel about the anime community? It's pretty good. Honestly, it's the best community I've ever been a part of. That's why I'm still a part of it. You know, I've been a part of a lot of online communities. I've got a lot of diverse interests. The ones that I've been the most actively involved with, uh, you may know I was in the Brony community. If you look at the URL of my channel, you may notice it says Digibrony MLP. Uh, I used to make My Little Pony analysis videos back in the day. And that community sucked. For the reason that you think it sucks. And I'm not making fun or looking down on anybody when I say it's very autistic. And not even that that's necessarily, like, a bad thing. It's just that the way that they tend to handle people is socially inept. Um, if you were to, say, leave the brony fandom, by which I mean stop talking about the show exclusively, you would get, like, just utterly reamed by the community. If you said anything negative about the show, like, I did an analytical show. You know, like, my thing was that I was analyzing My Little Pony so, in a critical lens. So obviously I'm not always going to have nothing but positive shit to say about it. But the thing about the brony community is that it is very much a hug box, and for good reason. Because the people who are involved with it, it first of all, to even like My Little Pony as an adult means that you're probably seeking comfort in the show. And if you are enjoying this show that is socially, you know, looked down on by most of the world to like, then when you go online and you go into the community, you're hoping to find reaffirmation that you are right to like it, that it is a good show. Um, especially if you're watching, like, you know, reviews and shit. You're basically just looking for someone to tell you that it's okay to like My Little Pony. And for me, that's a given, because I was already a part of the anime community, and I've already been making the argument that it's okay to like whatever the fuck you want to like, I don't give a shit. So, when people would watch my videos and get upset that I didn't love every episode of the show, it's like, this is not an environment to perform analytical critique in, and uh, as time went on, that community, they turned on me like that. As soon as they perceived me as either harshing on the show, which I never really did, I was always, like, adamantly a defender of the show overall. Um, you know, I liked every season of it. There were just certain episodes I didn't like as much. I even gained a reputation as, like, having turned on the show for having written a middling review of the last episode of season four. It wasn't even a negative review. Just a middling review of the last episode became like an infamous treatise against the show somehow. And then the fact that I stopped talking about it, I was treated like I had somehow like majorly burned a bridge with the, this community that like... There were no analysis channels for My Little Pony before I got into the community. And by the end of the first year of me being in there, there were, like, hundreds. At least a hundred. Um, and most of them came into existence because of the fact that Equestria Daily, the big pony website where fan content gets shared, had added an analysis section onto the site by my request, which I moderated. So anyone who achieved any success in that community did so because I found their video, posted it on that site, and made them get big. Now, there were lots of people who had smaller audiences who, like, were just friends with the people I made big and, you know, collaborated with them and wrote off of their success. But no one who was considering themselves a My Little Pony analyst except for uh, Tommy Oliver, a.k.a. Tom, the guy living in my house currently, um, who, you know, rose with me. And we collaborated all along the way. You know, Endless Jess, who, like, very much founded his own community. Um, you know, people who, who who found him uniquely. Like, but everyone else, I, I put them up. I made them have, you know, a career. Not to say that they didn't put any effort into their videos, just that, like, there's no reason anyone would have found them. But somehow, that very community totally forgot about me and then acted like I 
had turned on them, even though all I did was start talking about anime instead. So, fuck that community entirely. Now let's talk about the gaming community. I tried to break into doing video game reviews and analysis, and the gaming community is unfathomably judgmental. They would accuse me of just not having played the game correctly if I had criticisms of the game and the way that it's structured. The fact that this is even an argument that can exist is a huge problem. And everyone who does games criticism basically has to get people to even understand what criticism is in the first place and like understand the mechanics of criticism before they can even open their mouth about talking about games. It's a fucking nightmare. Um, and it's a huge, huge community that is totally decentralized. Like com considering it even a community is kind of, you know, it's kind of foolish because like none of them there's no unifying identity. Most people play video games. So to call yourself a gamer is just like grouping yourself in. It's like saying you're a human, basically. Um, and there's just so many parts of that community that are so fucking bitter and angry. And it's like, they there's weird gatekeeping within it of like, oh, you have to be hardcore. And it's like, there's nothing unique or special about being a hardcore gamer. Like... It just means that you've wasted more of your life doing this thing, and that's fine. Like, I don't think there's anything special about being a hardcore anime fan either. Like, it just means that you are capable of talking about it in more depth. Is that admirable? I, you're the one who wasted your time doing it. Like, you know, it's, it's, talking to myself even. So in the anime community, there's a lot more of a sense that the people who are deeply embedded into it want to bring other people there and this isn't always true there are some people who are like you know who like for instance like jojo manga fans who really just want to like they just want the anime babies to fuck off and that's understandable there's you know there's always going to be people like that in any community but for the most part i've always found that when you tell an anime fan that you don't know that much about anime and you express an interest in learning more they will help you learn more anime fans just want to give you recommendations they just want to teach you terminology they just want to spew their analysis their opinions at you and hope to have a conversation and some of them can be you know aggressive or bitter or whatever but it's just I mean, it's like that in every community, and I really feel like the anime community is not as bad about those things. Like, if you, if you can find me one that is somehow nicer, like if there was a community that, that was just all sunshine and rainbows, then, you know, maybe I'd say the anime community is also pretty bad. But, like, it's, it's not. It's comparably... People are okay here. People don't usually accuse you of watching a show wrong. You know, uh, even people who have disagreements, like, if you go into anime communities, you'll often see people making the argument that, you know, uh, everything is subjective, that it's just your opinion, that it's okay to like whatever you want to like, you know? Like, people who are extremely snobbish usually get kind of run out. Like, someone like that anime snob who was, a, you know, an anime YouTuber who, like, people shit on constantly for being such an elitist prick. Like, it's not generally smiled on. And, like, to the point where Econ, who is a friend of mine who is an extreme elitist prick, had to make a video defending being an elitist prick because he felt like elitist for getting too hard of a rap in the community. And they are. I mean, if, if anyone is getting the short end of the stick in, in the anime community, it is the elitists who, you know, have, have something to offer, as Econ says in this video. So, overall, I feel like this has been one of the more inviting communities. And it's for a similar reason to why I think that the furries are a great and inviting community. Which is just that it's one of the most looked down on groups. Like, if you're into anime, you can't really posture and act like you're cool. You can't act like anyone's below you because you are part of something that will never be mainstream. Like, gaming is mainstream now. 
you can be a gamer and just be a normal person and not be looked down on by anybody. And if you have real obscure taste in video games, it might be difficult for you to have conversations with people about the games you like, but no one's going to turn up their nose at you unless you're into anime games, you know? But if you're into anime, people will just... People outside that community are going to harsh on you just for liking anime. And so there's a certain kinship between people who like anime because whether you're at one extreme or the other of how deep in you are, like, there's an understanding that all of us got here for a reason, that we're all social rejects. You have to be to be into this thing because society rejects this thing. If you like any anime besides a Hayao Miyazaki film or a Ghibli film in general, I guess, then... You are not enjoying socially accepted media. And granted, there's people who are more like surface level who might reject the people a little bit further down. Like there's a lot of people who are who might be into anime but they're not okay with like Lollicon and stuff like that. Those people often get talked to to the other side. You'll see YouTubers who come out as like anti the the like fan service or or the, those deeper aspects and very patient learned men will send them PMs and talk them through and try to make them, you know, curb their aggression towards that a little bit because we care about protecting the sanctity of a community of people who are here because they need this for something. That we need this art to work through something inside of us that is unique and that is, you know, that puts us in a position where we would throw our hat in with something that most people think isn't okay. And so to be into it at all, there's a certain kinship that comes from that. It's like, if you like this thing too, you must be kind of like me. But we're not so... We're not so, like, self-conscious about it that we have to be a total hug box. Like, there's enough people talking about anime that we can we can at the very least, you know, have different opinions and argue about them, and it's not a problem. It's not like you get kicked out of the community for saying that a show is bad, you know? Most people are going around saying that shows are bad, so... I don't know. For me, it feels like the most comfortable community around. I've met most of my friends through this community. I've traveled the world... I've gone to conventions to meet people. I've felt a greater sense of kinship with people all over the world from connecting over this than I have with anything else. And I've never felt that the community ever hardline rejected me, you know? There's been parts of it. There's been, like... Like, I've never really felt like AnyTube embraced me all that much because it feels like a click that has less to do with being anime fans and more to do with being YouTube famous. Um, so, like, it's harder for me to connect with those people because I just care about anime more than most of them, but not all of them. And, you know, some of them are fine. Like, even, like, even uh, people I make fun of, like, like Jeff or Giga, like, they care about anime, at the very least, and I can have conversations with them because of that, and I don't think, I think it's the reason none of us is willing to just, like, reject each other, is that, like, we, we understand, like, hey, at the end of the day, we're just a bunch of fucking otaku sitting around watching this shit. So there you go. I love you guys. Stick around. And give me money!